The Thrivehood Podcast is a relevant life roadmap for boys and young men who want to thrive as they mature into manhood. I'll be your host, Tim Williams, and welcome to Thrivehood. Guys, man, I got to tell you, sometimes life just sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that's like probably not the thing that you wanted to hear and probably was a shock. But man, sometimes it's just rough. You know, it just is. And as I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to do this episode, I through some of the, the last couple of weeks and some of the things that have happened, I decided, you know what? I think I want to, because this plays right into what I am trying to do with this podcast in these episodes is to encourage you, is to give you some direction. And sometimes that can come even in the form of a challenge for me. And I felt like this is a great opportunity to share this with you. So when I cast or had cast the vision of what I believe Thrivehood, the Thrivehood podcast was going to be. In my mind, I had already seen what it was going to do and how it, how it was going to help people. And we were going to have, you know, tens of thousands of downloads and all this other stuff that, that I was dreaming of. And, I, and sometimes I can sort of cast a vision that's like way too far out in the distance and I uh, get... I get challenged sometimes by my wife by she saying, man, you're looking too far ahead, which I do. I would agree with that. And I think as it is with most people, when they're planning and putting an idea together and coming up with a, with a vision for what they want to do, what, whatever that is, a professional vision, a vision of what their life's going to be or career or their mate or family or, or finances or whatever, you know. The beginning is always the most exciting. It's a lot like marriage, right? The honeymoon, everything's great, all this good stuff. And then you sort of slide into how you sort of fit together with, you know, your spouse. Well, I think a vision is very much the same way. And over the last couple of weeks, two, three weeks, I got to tell you that I, I really got into some heavy discussions with someone that was named Tim Williams. Yeah, um. I'm leading you on there. I'm baiting you a little bit, but basically conversations within myself, conversations I'm having about this podcast and about its usefulness and are people listening and is it making a difference and does it really matter and what's happened to my vision and I thought this was going to be this and it's turned out to this. And I was reminded just a few days ago about something that I would love to bring to you. And hopefully this will be an encouragement to you because it was to me. And it's simply this, when you cast a vision, when you get an idea about something that you think you want to do, you need to be ready for at some point in time for that vision to die. There is a good chance, now not in every case, but I think more times than not, when we see something we want, we want to attain or aspire to something, almost inevitably, we run up against a brick wall. We come into a number of challenges. We begin to question whether or not that vision, that idea, that goal was really the thing we wanted to do after all. And I want to encourage you and tell you by even my own circumstances in the challenges that I had been facing recently, that I came into that very thing myself. And here's what's important. It isn't that vision begins to feel like it's dying or it's growing dark. It's what you do when you begin to see that happening. When you think that you've realized that you're sort of at the end and nothing's working out, it's not going to happen. That is the time that you have to step back and not necessarily assess what you're doing, although that, that could very well be. Maybe, maybe the direction or the approach that you're taking needs to change or the marketing strategy or whatever the case may be that you're involved in and trying to make happen. Maybe there do, does need to be a, a reset. But I think equally, if not more important, there needs to be a reset in our heart and in our mind. There needs to be a 
I guess the way I would say that is there needs to be a reset in our thinking rather than questioning if this was the right move to make. Rather than questioning, is this the vision that I really wanted or that I was hoping it would be or whatever the case may be. The better question is, I need to have a attitude adjustment. I need to change the way I'm thinking about this. I need to reassess myself, not necessarily the vision. So let me sort of bring this into terms of what I'm trying to say as it relates to this podcast. I had a vision of where I was wanting to be about this time a year ago. Actually, I was hoping, you know, within six months of me releasing the first episode, there were some things that I wanted to have happen and some things that I was looking forward to. None of that's happened. None of that has translated into my vision coming to reality. That doesn't mean that this podcast is worthless. It doesn't mean that I'm not helping anybody. It doesn't mean that I've made a mistake. It doesn't mean that I had the wrong vision. It doesn't mean that I'm stupid and I didn't understand what I, it doesn't mean any of those things. What it means is that there is a sort of a bottoming out. There is sort of a cleansing of that vision that's taking place in me. And here's what I want you to hear. I think those things happen because it, it brings into question how bad do you really want something? How important is it? How important is that vision that you've put forth for yourself? And how much are you willing to give in order to see that take place? Because guys, there are a number of people that finally give up. They lose heart. They become disconnected and discontented. They become distracted and they become confused. And there are a number of people that will sort of begin to shut down because they don't know where to go. They don't know where to turn. And when a vision is dying and if, when it feels like it's going out, I think there is enormous value in you becoming something greater, in you becoming something more simply by that dying. And I'll be honest with you, I think that's why that happens a lot. I think that's why that the vision sort of burns out and, the, and things sort of go south. Because what it's telling you is you have something to learn. There's something there to grow from. There's something there that you need to understand and learn. You, you guys, you could get on the internet and you could read story after story after story of people that have tried and tried and tried and have failed miserably and continued to work at it. But each time that they failed, that, that there was a failure that happened, they just realized how not to do it another way, right? <laughs> they just figured out, okay, we won't do that again. So at least I figured out ways. I think there's a quote, somebody out there that, had, I don't know who it was, but somebody made this statement that every time I fail, I've actually learned another way not to do something or whatever the case may be. And I've heard about it all the time. Thomas Edison, you know, took over 10,000 tries to get the, the light bulb going. I think Colonel Sanders, KFC guy, he presented his recipe to over a thousand restaurants and nobody would take it, his recipe for crispy chicken. So he created his own restaurant and, and the, the list goes on and on and on. Michael Jordan talking, you know, about his challenges, the basketball player back in the nineties. So there are enough of those stories to help you encourage you. And so I want to tell you today, if you've cast a vision and you have an idea about something you want to do, you need to prepare yourself for the moments that it doesn't go right, for the moments that it's going to go backwards, for the moments that it feels like it's dying and it's not going to happen. And that is not an indication that in fact, it's time to shut it down. Now, possibly, okay, I shouldn't, don't listen to Uncle Tim here and say, well, Tim said that, you know, everything I do. No, I mean, you got to seek wisdom and counsel. There might be moments where that's the case. But I would say, I would say also that I think what that does is it shows your resolve as to whether or not you really do want this. And if you do, you are growing from the challenges that are taking place. You hear a lot of people talk about, well, you'll grow and you'll learn whenever you make mistakes or when challenges come. What I want to also clarify, that growing, that learning that, you've, that you're developing through you know, I don't know if you're wanting to be a musician or you want to play a sport or you're, you're striving to, you know, you're, you're going to get a, you know, maybe you're trying to get a scholarship to a college, you know, as an engineer, whatever that case is, 
when you come up against a, a bump in the road and you get past that, you didn't learn a valuable trait just for that moment, okay? You, you didn't learn a trait just to get past that particular moment in your life that you had a challenge as you're pursuing the vision. You've learned a valuable lesson that you can apply to the rest of your life of learning how to overcome obstacles, for example. So understand this, the challenge that you have with whatever you're trying to achieve right now, it isn't, you didn't learn that. You're not going to learn that lesson just for that vision, just for that goal. That is something you will learn that you can take through the rest of your life. Guys, that's why when challenges come to your life and, and circumstances that, that, that seem too challenging to bear and you get past them, you, you don't learn a character trait or a virtue for just that particular moment. That's something you can carry with you for the rest of your life. And the more of those values and those wins that you build up over your life, you're actually learning now how to engage with and take challenges head on because you remember two years ago, you remembered five years ago, you remember 20 years ago when you had something similar and here's what you did and here's what you, here's how you handled it. And here's, you can rely on this strategy because you were able to learn, you know, from six months ago or two years ago in a different environment, in a different setting altogether. Does that make sense? Is that, are you understanding that, that you are growing in a number of ways, not just whenever this particular challenge for this particular vision takes place. I hope I'm saying that clearly and concisely, but I wanna encourage you and I wanna tell you that there is a good possibility, like I'm dealing with, had dealt with here recently, that you're gonna come up against something that's gonna be a brick wall. Okay, well, you gotta put on your thinking cap and figure out how am I gonna get around this or over it or under it or through it. And when you do that, you're going to be able to take those tools that you've learned and have utilized and you'll be able to apply that to the next challenge and then to the next challenge and with each challenge you'll gain more wisdom more understanding more knowledge as you go through it i hope that was helpful and i'm actually feeling good already just by doing this episode here today so i want to thank you for giving me that hope and that vision back guys until next time stay strong